on my baby jet, 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 on my baby jet, 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 on my baby jet, 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 on my baby jet, fire, 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 jet, 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 on my baby jet, 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 jet. I'm Ashari Ekundayo. I am the curator of Salt to Catch Ghosts. I am really in awe of the, the stories and the, the care, the kindness, and the vulnerability that these Black women and femme artists have shared with us. And I feel like it's really important to continue to archive our stories and our history so that we have an opportunity to reflect upon ourselves, but also to like manifest and womanfest what it is that we want to have available for future generations. Hi, um, my name is Shaniqua Gay. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia. I'm a multimedia artist and my work is about uh, celebrating the divinity of black women and girls. So my artwork is called the Pepper Throwing Slot Off in Your Game, right? And so this is from a lyric from Andre 3000 uh, from the hip hop song, uh, Kamala Herb. And so what kind of inspired me for that is like, when you think about somebody throwing salt on you, like it's a diss. And so I, I wanted to diss um, the need to have erasure of black women who have been violated in any way. Uh, so my mural is a representation of me creating ritual, creating memory, creating song, creating dance on the grounds of Katherine Johnston. Katherine Johnston was an African-American woman in Atlanta who was shot and killed by rogue police officers back in 2006. And so in that way of crying out for her and pouring out a diss and assault to erase who she was, I want to uplift her with memory um, and reverence of an ancestor. And so um, if I am kind of creating this table of understanding of how black women and girls need to be seen and reflected um, in imaginative spaces, right? So I remember who we were, I remember who we are, and I remember who we are yet to be. I'm Bronte Velez, they, them. I'm so blessed to be here and be presenting the work behind me. Can I get a witness that is an offering that came through not just myself, but a, a big group of people. This work is so drawn to the prayer of the salt, ancient salt and the salt of the glaciers and salt that has been protected for millennia and is now being exposed at a rate that is unprecedented and through climate collapse. How to love this ancient salt and ice that is disappearing and what do we do with that and what does that mean for culture? What does that mean for our lives? Um, and what are the hauntings, what are the colonial hauntings that led us there? My name is Courtney Desiree Morris, and I'm very happy to be one of the nine artists featured in Salt to Catch Ghosts, curated by Ashara Ekundayo. I am responsible for the installation on that corner. Salt makes me think of a lot of things. You know, salt makes me think about um, salt makes me think about fried chicken. Salt makes me think about watermelon. Salt makes me think about sweat. Salt makes me think about sex. Salt makes me think about the ocean. Salt makes me think about um, the taste of my own tears. Um, there's a lot of meanings. I think salt is just so rich with meaning, for you know, particularly for artists who come out of the African diaspora. I think it's something that shows up in our spirituality. It shows up in our culinary traditions. It shows up in our folklore and our mythology. Uh, and so it was really fun to kind of work with that with that energy um, and with that idea for this exhibition. So my name is Sabrina Nelson, and my work ties into the theme of the show, um, Salt to Catch Ghost, because I'm coming from um, a very salty taste in my mouth of how people um, take the lives of people 
who don't look like them and maybe don't come from where they come from. Watching on social media as Philandel Castile was killed, thinking about Emmett Till, thinking about Rainisha McBride, thinking about Brianna, thinking about um, children and adults who are always someone's child, and thinking about the, um, the salt in the wound, if you will, that's not healing us. And so um, this is my way of creating magic, if you will, to teach someone empathy, to show them a mirror of themselves and how it must look like to see the reflection of who you really are as a country. And how do you change it? People want change, but they don't want to change. So it is my task to show them the reflection of how I see it and maybe give them an opportunity to think about how to change it. When we talk about salt as a, a material um, or as a verb, we talk about our opportunity to to check in with ourselves and to like engage with our families, you know, folks sitting on the front porch, uh, folks at school, folks in our professional, in our job. And, you know, we have these stories that I think are unique to Black women. I was really interested um, to listen to a group of artists reflect on this idea of ancestry and of legacy. And so at the same time, uh, I, was in, I was also inspired, I've been inspired and continue to be inspired by the ways in which creative people show up to heal communities. Oh, I'm a